Hi everyone, and welcome to another painting tutorial. So before I get started, I just wanted to say that I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas with friends and family wherever you are in the world. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So I'm going to take you through how I painted this Free Guild Cavalier armor. And um, yeah, so as you can see, I did already uh, apply the base coat. Uh, so scale 75's black metal. And now just using some Abaddon Black and Lamy and Medium, uh, looking at around a 50-50 mix and a little bit of water mixed in there as well. And um, yeah, just gonna apply that liberally all over uh, the, the armor. And after giving that a little bit of time to dry, I'm now gonna move on to, uh, well back to Black Metal by scale 75 just to tidy up the armor a little bit, but we do want to make sure that we leave some of that um, sort of uh, dusty, sort of aged, weathered sort of look on the armor. So uh, try not to go over too much of the abandoned black. So with the black metal now done, I'm going to move on to thrash metal and um, sort of in a stippling motion and also just going to be doing some sort of scratch highlights as well. Um, just sort of randomly though. Um, and then of course, uh, try and focus on uh, the edges of the armor as well. And to work up the metal that much more, I'm going to use Heavy Metal by Scale 75. And again, mostly sort of stippling highlights and uh, just doing little scratches where you can. And of course those edge highlights. And as you can see as well through the center of the armor panel uh, where the light would be hitting. Um, I have sort of tried to make uh, that a little bit more prominent with the highlighting.
Now at this point, if you were happy with uh, just the way the armor looked, uh, as it does, you know, it does look pretty uh, well weathered and battle worn. However, I wanted to add um, a little bit more detail. So I decided to use some Thondia Brown and Lamian Medium and uh, really just looking to do uh, a little bit of this throughout the recesses uh, at the bottom, the lower ends of the uh, armor plating, uh, as you can see just around the gold there. And as for the Arch Knight himself, I just wanted to do a little bit of this particular detail just around his feet, uh, as though from when he's um, dismounted and you know, mounted. And for just a little more weathering, I'm going to use some Steel Legion Drab and Lamian Medium, again looking at a 50-50 mix. And sort of just... Um, you know, stippling some of this over the Thondia Brown. And just to add a little bit of a highlight to uh, the uh, Steel Legion Trap, I decided to use some Auric Flesh and again Lamin Medium 50 50. And uh, yeah, use this really sparingly. And as an absolute final touch, I wanted to add just a little more shine, so I decided to use some Stormhose Silver by Citadel. And again, just randomly applying this, just small amounts, just small little scratches across the armor. And here are some photos of the completed miniature. So I hope you found this tutorial useful today. Again, hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next one.